So I'm going to make a shape because we're going out and uh, I'm going to take one with me. It's quite early though. It's only, I'd say, it's not even 10, just before 10. Um, about 5 to 10 now, I'd say. I don't know what flavour to have though. I'm tempted to make a coffee one with ice so that it's like a frappe but then I won't have one to take with me I've only got three left and I didn't really like the chocolate one last night it was a bit I don't know why it tastes nice but it gave it made me feel sick after I drank it so I'm a bit reluctant to have one of those again but I'm not sure I don't know so I'm going to make a shake and take it with me. I've got my ice and I've got my latte. Um, and I'm hoping it'll be a bit like a frappe whilst I'm out in the car and then I won't want to have a Costa or a Starbucks. So I'm really hungry this morning. I've had one black coffee and nearly a litre of water. So, sorry, I thought someone was knocking at my door, but it's not, it's a cat. She's sat on the TV stand and she's scratching and her paw is whacking the unit so I thought someone was knocking at the door but they're not so let's make this up and take it with us oh actually what I should have done is made a vanilla shake and put a shot of coffee in it because now this is one less to take out with me in the evenings and I'm going to uh, struggle making shakes to take with me in the evenings. Never mind. So I've seen a few people have been putting the mix mousse in their shakes to thicken them up. Um, I'm just wondering, has anyone actually tried that? Because, I don't know, I'm a bit reluctant. Like, I feel like it would make them really gloopy. But I'm not sure. But I'm tempted to try it if it's going to make me feel fuller. But then I was thinking, by the time I go and see my consultant and buy some next week, I'm not going to be doing shakes anymore because I'm only going to do this for one week. There is no way I can stick this out for longer than one week. I will die. Literally. It's too cold. I'm hungry. Like, my belly is proper belly grumbling. Rum, rum, rum. Proper belly grumbling here. It feels like I have a big hole in my stomach because I feel quite hungry. So I'm going to whiz this up and go and grab my cup and I'll be back in a minute. Oh God, why is it so thick? I'm actually tempted to use one of my metal straws in this because I'm finding that these damn paper straws are a bit like the McDonald's straws. You know, you put it in your drink and about five minutes later, there's no straw left and then you're stuck with, how am I gonna drink this drink? So, I don't know. But then these are handy for me because whilst I'm out and about and I drink it, I just chuck it away. I don't have to worry about bringing it home, washing it or, you know. That looks yummy. It looks really lumpy and curdled even though I know it's not. Uh, we have to get every drop out, trust me. I, I'm greedy. Oh, I'm making a mess. When you're hungry, every drop counts. So that is so thick, it's really hard to get it up the straw. But I wish I'd got more of these now. And if I wasn't busy all week, I probably would have asked my consultant if I could have gone back and changed my chocolate ones to the latte ones because I really don't like chocolate ready-made. But this, 
It's just like going to Starbucks. It's thick, it's creamy. Mm, this is heaven. I love this one. But tomorrow, I. We're out tomorrow. Sunday, I don't believe in bugging anybody on a Sunday because that's just not on. And then. Um, Monday, we're going out with a friend. Tuesday, Oliver's got hospital appointment in London and then Wednesday I'm going this way day so don't really have enough time to go back and get one but what I might do is just I've got um what's what's today day Friday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday five so I've got five vanilla shakes there uh so what I might do is just put some coffee in the vanilla ones and hopefully they will be like this because this is really yummy. I'm liking this one a lot. I might actually get myself a, a Starbucks reusable cup and make it and put it in one of those because then I will actually feel like I'm having a Starbucks. Mm. Oh, there's one today. I'm going to Epsom and there's a Starbucks there. So I might go and have a cheeky look. So. Big baggy jumper on today, jeans, not that you can see that far, jeans, and your top, but it's still quite big, I don't think I'm ever going to be like that, but we'll see. I'm really hoping that I have a good loss this week so then it sets me up for next week to stick to it and yeah we'll see anyway I'm off out and I'll speak to you all a bit later so first shake 10 o'clock and one litre of water down and one black coffee so far nothing else I'll speak to you all later guys hope you have a look yeah, I can't talk I hope you all have a great day um, oh, also, I'm feeling really good today. I uh, woke up, wasn't feeling sleepy, no headache, just hungry. That's it. Bye. Uh, so just a quick update, really. Um, so we've gone out to Epsom for the morning. It is currently about half past one. I've still only had my one shake and I'm still working my way through my first litre. No. I'm on my second litre because I filled my bottle up when I left but I couldn't really drink much while I'm out because I am keep needing to wee. So we stopped off, um, Tane's getting a haircut. So I'm just sat outside with a coffee and yes, it is a black coffee. Admittedly, it tastes absolutely horrible because black coffees from Cass are not great. They're really strong. Um, excuse me, wishing I'd bought some water to add to it really oh my god excuse me i'm starting to feel tired now but it's really nice out the sun is shining but it's really busy in town it's quite packed here i'm gonna go home soon pick the girls up from school at five past three and then i will have my second product I treated myself in Starbucks to two new cups so I'll show you them when I get home because they're currently in the barbers on the chair and I'm sat outside because it's nice and I'm freezing even though it's sunny so yeah still going strong day three I'll speak to you all a bit later bye guys bye guys back again so it is now ten past four so I'm gonna make my second shake. I should have done this earlier, but I was too busy sorting out the kids' dinner. Um, they've got roast chicken. Which, it smells so nice in my house right now. They've got roast chicken, new potatoes, broccoli, and carrots. <sighs> my mouth is watering with the smells of chicken. So I'm gonna pop you there. No, I'm not, because I don't know what shake I'm gonna have. Uh, so. So I had my ready-made, 
Hmm, what flavour drugs do I have? Chocolate, coffee, strawberry. I remember that the strawberry and vanilla was really nice because I just watched a video back. So I think I'm going to have that one. The strawberry and vanilla. Oh, now I need a wee. Okay, this is not great. So, excuse all the mess. More clothes to put away. So, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. So, vanilla. And this one is lactose three, free. Three? What am I talking about? Like I said. So, oh, let me put my strawberry in there first. Ooh, it's going to fall over. So nice. Come back. Come back. Come back. I think I remember putting four of these in before. So I'm gonna put four in again to see. wondering what I did with the other part of the packaging but I've already put it in the bin. I'm really hungry as well. I'm going to whiz that up. Um, I think I popped on earlier and I said to you that I treated myself. So yesterday I was saying how I wanted to get a reusable disposable cup because I got rid of all my old ones when I came off the diet. So, I bought this because when I go out at work in the evening, I really can't stand the taste of, I'm going to jiggle because I need a wee, I can't stand black coffee from like service stations or Costa, places like that because it's really strong and I just can't stomach it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my black coffee in this and then take it out with me. So... Yeah, that's, that's the plan anyway, and then I can drink that while I'm in the car. So I got that today from Starbucks, and it was three ninety five. Apparently it's a colour changing cup, so that'd be fun to see, but I just like the colour and the, the design. It goes pink apparently, but you can see. And then I also got another cup to put my shapes in to take in the car. <sighs> How gorgeous is this? That is just unreal. So it's a screw lid. So I take the lid off and it's insulated so it'll keep the cake keep the cake. Oh, I can't talk today. It'll keep my shape nice and cold. It's got some papers in there. But it's quite big and yeah, it's got a nice pink straw. So, I love this. I don't love the price, however. When I paid for these two cups, I nearly had heart failure. I was like, you could have given me a free coffee for the amount of money I just spent on two cups. So, and the only thing I don't like about this one is that it's going to get fingerprints all over it. But I guess that's the price you pay hey, to have something as beautiful as this. So, this cup was... You're going to be so shocked. £25. £25. If Kane finds out, he'll kill me. Literally. Like, that is ridiculous amount of money. But she is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, she's stunning. I absolutely love it. Really love it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for next week when I'm not on shakes anymore. I might just have to buy shakes in order to use this gorgeous thing. Or I might put water in it. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so this is beautiful. I'm in love. So yeah, that's what I bought. Two cups from Starbucks, one for my coffee, one for my shake. And it won't spill. Well, it would if I did that, but obviously it's not going to spill. 
not going to fall over in the car. The other one's are really flimsy, so when I put them in the cup holder, they just all squish and the lid pops off, and it's a nightmare. So that's all I bought whilst I was out, and I also bought myself some more coffee because I'm running out of coffee. So, excuse the noise, the girls are running around like lunatics, but yeah, I'm happy. I might make myself a black coffee in this. So, so far today, I've had nearly two litres of water. I've had one, two, two black coffees, one shake, and I'm about to have another shake now. Actually, I think I might rinse this out and put my shake in it now and enjoy it. Right, I'm going to run for a wee. I'm going to put this on to blend, and I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. Right. Let's move this out of the way. Just rinse it out. I don't know how much this holds. Just got water in it now at the bottom. Do not microwave. No, it doesn't really say. But it doesn't really matter. Good. Smells yummy. Definitely not going to hold all of this. Oh, it might. Not. Well, not too bad. Almost. That's <clears throat> powdery. Still, after I blended it while I went for a wee and came back. That is really good. It's a vanilla shake with the strawberry protein drops. It's definitely a winner. I still haven't actually had any of my, what am I thinking of? Vegetable water flavoring. Uh, I think I just forget that I've got it, but mm. I don't think it's going to last very long. I think I'm going to finish it off quite quickly. So I'm going to have this one now four. It's half four, I think. I'm going to have another shake around before I go out later. So, no, actually, once I've put the girls to bed, so about half past seven. Yeah, about half seven. And then... I'm going to go and meet Kane at 10, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'll make another one when I go out. Because yesterday I had my shake really late. It was like half one in the morning. And it made me feel really sick. So I don't really want to be having it that late again. I'd rather try and have it a bit earlier on. So yeah, I really love this cup. Mm. It's so yummy. I was regretting getting vanilla flavour shake because it was really sweet, but this is gorgeous. Right, guys, anyway, I'm going to sign off. I've got to finish up the kids' dinner. And I've just edited yesterday's video and it's uploading now. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'd say I'm not really missing food so much. It's just the smell of food. Like when I'm cooking or when we go out and you get the smell of the food. Like last night we picked up a spicy chicken burger for somebody to deliver 
and the smell of the car it just smells so divine actually the other day we picked up an order came bought it and put it in the car in the bag and i was like i was like hmm i can smell onion rings and he was like what do you mean you can smell onion rings it's chips i was like i'm telling you they've got onion rings in that order so he looked at the receipt to see what they'd ordered and there was onion rings on there. He was like, you fat pig. How the hell did you know there was onion rings in there? I was like, my nose knows. That sounds good, doesn't it? My nose knows. My nose can smell food from a mile off. That's how much I love food. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy my shake. And I will jump on when I make the next one. I'll speak to you all a bit later. Bye. Hi, guys. So I'm going to make my third shake now um not too sure what flavor i'm gonna have yet but i've got my ice just gonna grab some water i'm really angry like beyond angry i've just found out that someone has been taken well has taken over 600 pounds for Uber Eats out of my bank account, a bank account that I never use for anything. So I've just spent the last half an hour on the phone to the bank trying to claim it all back. And they're saying to me that basically they have to check whether it was me that made the transactions or not. Of course it wasn't me. I know for a fact it wasn't me. I'm so annoyed, like really annoyed and I'm hungry and it's making me want to eat those two Yorkshire puddings over there that are sat in that dish so I'm gonna call my son now and tell him to bloody well eat them otherwise I'm gonna end up eating them <sighs> why do people do this this has been going on since December and that just shows that I, I never use this account because I just use it to save money in so that's how long it's been going on for and it wasn't me because I don't use the bank account and I don't never check it because I never use the account. So angry, like really angry at the moment. Anyway, it is eight o'clock now. <sighs> Breathe, Cheryl. It's eight o'clock and I'm gonna have my third shake. So I'm going to have, I've got to go to work now as well in a bit, 10 o'clock. Chocolate shake. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the chocolate flavour drops into it just to make it a little bit more chocolatey. Mm, don't even know if anything came out of that that time. Right. Anyway having a good day up until that moment just don't understand why people need to scam people it's disgusting they've obviously cloned my card at christmas time when i did use it last and have slowly slowly been taking money out of the account in the hopes i wouldn't recognize it which i didn't didn't because i never checked the account stupidly and now i'm just going to check all my accounts from now on because can't trust anybody. Okay, so I'm gonna whisk this up and get my cup and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've got my cup. Almost, oh, I can never open this. It's too wide for your hand. That light is really bad. I don't know where else to put you. Like, not right in the light if that makes sense so having a really good day up until now apart from feeling hungry i'm quite hungry at the moment and the kids had their roast oh, it smelled so nice i wanted to eat it myself but day three is nearly over with a couple more hours to go
I'm not sure. Like, it makes it more chocolatey, but it makes it taste strange. Maybe I put too much in there. Tastes quite chemically. That sounds crazy, but I don't know what I mean. I can't wait to drink this because I'm so hungry. I might actually drink this and then have um, one of my water flavorings. It's got watermarks on it from where I left it to dry. It's gonna bug me. Cause I love this. I love this cup. Anyway, so excuse me. Third shake, chocolate. I'm going to work at ten, and it's eight now so it's only two hours away i will probably take a latte with me no not a latte coffee a latte 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 ready-made shake probably take one of those with me actually i better put it in the freezer now one talking to you actually because otherwise it's not going to be cold we are we were supposed to be going into town tomorrow with Dad because we always go and spend Saturdays with Dad, as you already know from before. Sorry, these lights are horrible in my house. We were supposed to go tomorrow into town with Dad, but we obviously we're not going now uh, because one, all my money's gone from my bank, and. Kane's got to go and get a new tie pot on the bike. So yeah, we won't be going to town tomorrow now. I'm going to stay at home. So tomorrow I'm planning on having a shake in the morning, one in the afternoon, one about, well, we're going out tomorrow about half seven, eight in the evening. And preferably, I don't want to take any shakes with me as we're going to a party with friends. So it's actually, let me just drink this and sit down and then I can explain what I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay, sorry. I thought I might as well just uh, drink that little bit of shake that was there whilst. Um, and then come and sit down. So yeah, tomorrow we're going out in the evening to a party. So, I don't want taking shakes with me because normally we just go out and we drink, but I'm not going to drink. I'm just going to... No, we're not going to party. What am I talking about? That's next month. Let's see. My brain is not functioning because of what's just happened. So, tomorrow we're going to the pub to meet some friends and have some drinks. But I'm not going to drink. I'm going to have soda water and lime and just say it's gin. No one's going to know any different. And I obviously don't want to take any products with me. So, because I wouldn't normally eat whilst I'm out anyway. If we're going out drinking, we'd normally have something either after when we're drunk, as you do. Or I would um, have something before I go. So I'm going to try and get all four shakes in tomorrow before I go, which means I can save one of my ready-made shakes. I don't need to take one out in the evening because well, obviously I won't be working. So normally I take one out with me because I'm working until about two in the morning, sometimes three. So hopefully if I can try and get them all in, have my last shake about 7.30 or even if I make it and take it with me and drink it in the car on the way there, then that'll be me done for tomorrow. So I can save my ready-mades for taking out with me because I'm not going to have enough. I got eight, but I really don't like the chocolate ones. So I've only got two latte shakes left. So I'm going to have one now 
and then that means there's only one left so there's going to be one for sunday when i'm working and there's nothing for monday or tuesday so somehow i'm going to have to work out taking shakes with me uh on monday and tuesday because Tuesday won't be a problem because I won't be meeting Kane till 10, so I can always make one and take it with me. But Monday is going to be a tricky one. I'm going to have to either get them all in early or just have three shakes that day. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but day three anyway, and I'm doing good. I do miss the products. I miss having a bar. Like I could have could quite happily just grab a bar, especially the birthday cake bar. That is really yummy. If you haven't tried that, I recommend it. It is gorgeous. It tastes a bit like the icing and buttercream on the side of a cake. You know when you get that big chunky bit of icing and buttercream on the side? And it often has a little bit of raspberry jam still on it. And you peel it off and you eat it. That's what it reminds me of. And it is really nice. So I do like that one. I am missing it and I do like the caramel bites as well but yeah day three also I have not stood on my scales once at all since being on this diet so I don't know if you guys remember from before I used to be a bit of a uh, health I can't talk today I used to be a bit of a scale hopper or whatever you'd call it you know, every single day I would stand on my scales and get weighed because I'd want to know how much I weighed and whether it was working. But obviously we all know our weight fluctuates daily and uh, Mother Nature has paid me a visit this week. She turned up on Monday, I think it was Sunday or Monday she turned up. Uh, so I don't know how long she's going to last for because she can come and stay for months or she can just come and stay for a couple of days. She goes for a few, like two, and then she's back again. So that's why I'm supposed to be having a hysterectomy soon. But that waiting list seems to never be ending either. So I don't stand on my scales at home at all now. I only get weighed with my consultant. And apart from that, I never stand on my scales. The only way I know if I'm losing or gaining weight is by my clothing. So if my clothes are getting tighter, I know I've put on weight. If they're getting looser, I know I'm losing the weight. And I try to just judge it by that now. And I try not to focus so much on the number. Even though I am aiming to get to my goal at the moment, which is eight and a half stone, which is my lowest I've ever been. I... Ideally want to get back to that and then use that as my marker to, if my clothes are getting tight, I need to rein it in. If they're getting loose, which they probably never would do at that point, then I'm okay to just have your takeaway and stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take, I've put the latte in the freezer. I'm going to take that out with me tonight. I probably won't jump on again tonight because Friday night is probably going to be quite busy at work. So... I'm going to make this my last video. I'm going to drink this chocolate shake now. And it is currently 20 past 8. I'm not liking this. I really wish I hadn't put those flavour drops in there. Because I love the chocolate shake. But this... It just tastes... Weird. I don't know. It just tastes a bit... Ooh, it's got a horrible twang to it. So yeah, I'm going to sign off for tonight. I will take my latte and I promise you guys I will be drinking it in the car. Not a thing is going to pass these lips. I've still only had two black coffees today. Did I have one when I came home? No, I didn't. I haven't had a chance to make one yet. I've had my three litres of water. I think this is empty nearly. Yep, that's empty now. So I drink three of these a day and these hold a litre. So I've had my three litres of water, two black coffees and three shakes. And I will take a black coffee with me later when I go out. 
I'm probably, oh, I've still got half a bottle of Diet Coke left in the car. So just the smaller bottles, not a giant bottle of Diet Coke. So I'll probably finish that and that'll probably be it for today. So day three, it's been a success. I will speak to you all tomorrow at some point uh, when I make my first shake. Hope you all have a great weekend and I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys.